Right, so let's see how we can save our work from our, our vSphere instances onto a USB drive. So just to show, there's no smoke and mirrors here, so I'll just connect a USB drive to my Windows host here. Okay, so that hopefully is it connected. And we'll just have a look, that's what's on it. Okay, and then we'll just uh, start up a Kali Linux machine. Okay, so it's powered on. And then we'll just open up the console. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the USB drive and then mount it onto the VM. And it's this little icon here that really we want to focus on. So I won't mount the USB drive just now. I'll just show you what it looks like before we mount the drive. Okay, let's transfer one of these images from the desktop onto the drive to see if we wanted to capture that. So our F disk minus L gives us our partition. So there we are, there's our main disk partitions. So what we'll do is we'll just mount the drive now. So we can mount any USB drive onto our VM. Uh, so there's my microphone. There's the USB drive. So you see it disappearing over here as it mounts onto here. So we just do F disk again. It just takes a little minute, so just give it a minute to mount it. So it's called slash dev sdb1, and it's a bootable partition with FAT32. So what we'll do is we'll go to, uh, you can do it in any way that you want. I'll just create a mount here. So we just make the directory, make it a partition, and we'll call it USB1. OK, so USB1 is going to be our mount folder. Just let me delete these, these old ones tidy it up. Okay, there we go. So we've got our mount point, which is USB 1. So what we need to do now is to mount our USB drive. So it's VFAT is the file type. Minus O, read write, and dev sdb1, I think it was. Yeah, that's it, sdb1. Remember, when, when you mount your drive, it might mount as a different device, so just make sure that you use F disk to have a look at that. And we're going to put it there. And that's great. Okay, so our drive's all set up. There we go, that's what we've seen before. Uh, we can have a look at it in our file viewer if we want. Okay, but what we'll do is we'll just copy a file over. So we'll go back to our home folder and from our desktop. Let's copy image zero zero image zero zero seven to JPEG to our folder. quite a big file so it's going to take a little minute and I'm using this from home so it's obviously quite a lot slower than it would normally be okay so so that's fine so we'll just have a little look uh, to see if it's there and it is 
So I like to unmount the disk just to make sure it's uh, so I just need to close here. Okay, so that's unmounted. Then what we'll do is we'll disconnect it. Disconnect. Okay, so hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, that's a good sign. There we go. Okay, so that's the new file we've just created. And there it is there. Okay, so that shows you how you can mount your USB drive onto your uh, vSphere instances.